hi guys this is rkb so in this tutorial i am going to looking at the comments and computer code elements suppose if you have so many sections of articles or any other sections in your website document and you want to identify them easily then you properly use comments so comments in the html are represented by the less than symbol exclamatory mark hyphens and uh, this is your comment here you write your comment here so and then end this with two hyphens and greater than so this is your comment so if you save this and run run this in the browser then it is not going to display in the browser it is only for your reference it is only for your reference uh, in the HTML document so that is why we use comments suppose uh, if your article starting starts from here then you probably write article 1 starts here then your article goes here uh, you use h1 tag for your article and uh, write something and use some paragraphs to your article and if you have lot of articles like that then uh, these comments are useful to identify those articles so that's it that's it about um, comments if you are creating a full version website then these comments are very useful in creating full version website uh, because uh, only the comments are the only thing that you can identify the sections easily in HTML document so really comments are very useful in creating full version website so that is about comments now take a look at computer code elements so if your website contains programming code like C, C++, Java then you should use code element code element so in between the code element you write your uh, any programming language code goes here so now take a look at example now I am writing C, C, C programming code C language code now I have my code here now save this and run this in the browser so you can see here the font and everything changed here that means it represent a code any programming language code or any code here so that is about code element so now if your website contains any mathematical variables then you should use the var tag var tag so you guys you know Einstein's mass energy equation yeah let me show you is that is e equal to mc square oh no how should I write square here so here var means variables so here energy is an variable and mass is m is a variable and c yeah, it's a light of speed speed light so here I want I want it to display a square but uh, it is not displaying a square now I am going to use superscript here superscript tag that is SUP tag for 2 so now let's see this in the browser yes I think yeah perfect I did it so that is about var tag and variables oh that is variable so so now take a look at keyboard input element that is kbd now if your website contains keyboard input text then you should use kbd tag kbd tag uh, so let me show an example 
I'm going. So this is the keyboard input. Now see the changes in browser. So if you observe here, uh, the style of this text is slightly changed. So that means, so it means uh, it is a input from keyboard. So that's pretty much it from this tutorial, guys. Uh, hope you enjoy this. So please subscribe my YouTube channel. Uh, I'm going to upload a lot of tutorials like this. So thank you guys for watching. Yeah, stay subscribe my channel. See you guys in the next video.